Hey, Michael Sean Corby here for MSC TV. Hope you're having a great day or evening. Today, what I want to show you is an easy twist, just the easiest you've ever seen. It takes just a few minutes, whether you're a professional and you want someone with a sleek, sophisticated look, or if you've got lots of time right now at home and you're curious about playing with your hair and doing something a little special, you're really going to love this. To do it, all you're going to need is an elastic band, not a rubber band, and a brush. We all have that. And you're going to need some hairpins or bobby pins, um, whichever work best for you. So to begin, I'm just going to take all the hair and pull it back and away from the face. and the upward hair as well from the bottom. Holding it straight out from the head. I'm then going to gather that hair with an elastic band. Simple. Super easy, I'm sure everybody's still with me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a chopstick, and yes, I use chopsticks a lot, and I'm going to put that chopstick through the band, just all the way through to the other side. So now I'm holding it. It's not above the band. It's not below the band, but it's right in between there. Hopefully you can see that. And now what I'm able to do is in either direction, I can now take this and I have full control to create the twist-like shape. So I want it to go in an upward direction. Twisting, twisting, twisting. So it's nice and sleek, sophisticated, so simple. So now I can take the chopstick out it's giving me a nice little twist at the back here. And now I can take hairpins in place and push in and up. Again, you could use bob pins. You could use just regular pins, hairpins. It's up to you. So now we're just accentuating that shape, one last one at the top. And now the band can be removed. So you've got the twist in there on all sides. And I don't like my twists too tight. I like them to be a little bit soft. And now we have this triangular section that we left at the top. Like so. You can see my section at the top of the head there. Extreme cam, I call that. <laughs> We're gonna save these ends for later at the back. Now all you need to do is to back comb this so it will have some nice volume. In the back of the section, I'm gonna hold it up. Just really getting in there and compacting a base. But don't do it too close to the front because you don't want the front to look fuzzy. Instead, for the front, I'm going to use a comb with bigger teeth to it so we have a looser look around the front. Brushing that down. I'll just go ahead and do the same 
Again, we don't want that overly teased at the front, just a little softness. Hit it with your favorite spray. Mine is Flex Hairspray, as most people know. Smooth with the edges of your brush. Don't take out all of your back combing or you have to go back and do it again. Let the little pieces fall around the face. Gently. And then we've got that little ender section that we can pin everything into, or you can just gently continue and pin it where you were before. But make sure you like it in the front first. Okay. I think I like everything all the way around. And so now what I'm going to do is just take these ends, tuck them in where that previous hair was. And now we know we can take stronger pins. You could have this be really messy if you wanted to as well for a more uncontrived kind of look. Somewhere in between, perfect for a summer day, perfect for a spring wedding. Just keep cleaning the ends there. Make sure it's balanced all the way around. There you have it, a quick, easy twist. I call the easy twist using an elastic band and a chopstick, so easy and so fun to do. And there you have it, a beautiful, easy twist using a chopstick, elastic band, and a few pins. I'm Michael Sean Corby, this is MSC TV, and I'll see you next time with my tip of the day.